All right, hello, and today I have something that I've been waiting oh, almost a month for, and just arrived by a pure later there on Thursday, so yeah, it's the weekend now, so I got time to make a short video about this product. Uh, I couldn't find anything much about it on YouTube, not the 2017 model anyways. And that is the Zotac uh, C series CI547 Nano. And what's important about the C series is they are fanless or passively cooled. So no moving parts, completely silent. So for my purposes, I intend to use this in my audio setup. So, really was looking forward to uh, the KB Lake processor. It has the Intel 7200U, which is sort of a middle of the road laptop style processor. It uses 15 watts. And it should be good for things like um, you know, Microsoft Office and uh, you can stream 4K video while doing other tasks, or giving a presentation or whatnot, but uh, for my purposes uh, I wanted something small and quiet that could sit beside the uh, the TV screen and I intend to run Rune Server Core on this and control it remotely and use it in my two-channel audio setup. So, anyway, let's take a look here and see what we got. And of course, beside it, you'll see I have uh, the Samsung 512GB 850 Pro, and for the memory, I chose Kingston HyperX uh, DDR4 which came as a kit uh, 2x16 for a total of 32 gigabytes of two-channel memory which is probably overkill and definitely is overkill for this small unit here but you know, the only trouble with memory is if you uh, don't have enough if you're starting to do a lot of processing but here it is and uh, yeah, nice to, to see this new product out. Um, yeah. I like the, uh, that's the uh, sort of a manual there on the DVD. I think in here, ah, there we go. Drivers are on a uh, flash drive here, so read only. And couple of manuals in there. Nice. The power adapter. And this is the really the thing I've been waiting for. Okay. I'm looking forward to this little guy here. Ah, and here we have it. Nice. This is so small. I mean, just to show you, here's a, a standard DVD. Honestly, look at that. Unbelievable. And you know, it's not that uh, not that wide either. Really, really nice. So you have uh, the uh, the SD card uh, reader built in, which is nice to uh, to play some music files. A microphone. Headphone, uh, you got a power light, HDD light, and a Wi Fi light. Two USB 3.1s, which it'll be nice to uh, use my Nexus 6P phone, which has a C style type uh, adapter. A USB 3.0 on there. And on the back here, 
which was really important and why I wanted this particular uh, model. The uh, two Ethernet point ports are uh, Gigabyte and they are both Realtek. And then you have your Wi-Fi uh, there and Bluetooth built in. Four more USB 3.0. HDMI and a display port and the uh, power pin connector there and these here are rubber uh, tipped uh, screws and that's where I'll put my uh, hard drive and memory but really really nice little unit here and this as well in the box some accessories here which uh, which I'll open up okay so we're back here and I've taken the uh, rear cover off and you can see what's inside there yeah I won't bother putting this in in front of you but you you put the memory in there 45 degree angle and just slide it in until it clips and same with the hard drive, you remove that bracket there and it just screws on there and you connect it in there. But uh, it's nice, it has these rubberized uh, back screws here, so easy to take out. There's the rear cover. And this is the heat pad that you would use if you're using a two and a half inch uh, standard HDD about nine millimeters thick you just leave that as is but if you're using the uh, thinner uh, SSD like the Samsung uh, 850 Pro is and you got to install these uh, uh, heat pads here to dissipate the heat so you'll stick the one uh, on right here and then this one here will go on there and uh, that will help dissipate the heat there on the, those fins through the back or the bottom and uh, that should work good but uh, what I will be connecting this into there's the uh, power cord and the length length of it uh, I'm going to connect it to uh, a, a pure power applied research and technology uh, uh, power conditioner um, I got this because I'm in Canada at Long and McQuaid and they're like 56 bucks but uh, it cleans up the power nice and should work good for uh, for this little unit here and you get a couple of ace amounts too if you uh, wanted to hook this up to the back of a you know a monitor you you know those two things you screw onto the back there and Wi-Fi antenna and that's that so that's what you get the, uh, with this SSD hard drive and the two sticks of RAM and you also have to uh, put the thermal pad on here and the other little one right here and then pull the uh, plastic off Okay, so there it is, connected to the, uh, well, it's an older 50-inch plasma Panasonic, and there's the little box. Put the HDMI cable on it, but i got to wait for the operating system, as I said before, but here's what I was interested in doing with it. It's the, uh, this here is the Ares Mini uh, streamer, and... What I will do with that is use that as an end point for Rune because they recently just did a firmware update and I can use the second Ethernet jack on the back of the fanless Zotac to uh, send audio over to the little streamer and then that goes uh, and it outputs USB to this uh, Breeze Audio um, SPDIF converter because my Bill Canto DAC only got 
96 uh, 2496 via USB so I use the uh, SPDIF input and all well, that's powered through a uh, nice Sansui integrated uh, amplifier 170 watts to the Yamaha uh, NS1000 monitors and I really like the sound I get out of this right now but I'm hoping that this little box, um, you know, takes it to another level. And 1366 by 768 for the 50 inch, but it'll be nice to see, uh, hopefully, I can see some of the music uh, albums up on there on the screen, and we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. And try it out when I get the operating system in and I'll do an update then. Anyway, take care and that's the Zotac CI547 fanless mini PC.